Well, FM23 beta version is out, um, and I've had a little video out um, with my first initial thoughts on it, which um, I, had, I just sort of found someone randomly and, and had a look at it. Um, and I've been thinking, who could I do for a beta save? And then it just hit me, Bran Bergen, for whom I have had popular demand, shall we say, um, for me to manage. So it won't be a long save um, because I have plans to do a longer term um, thing with others. Um, but um, while the beta's here and we're getting used to the new game, um, who better? So let's uh, get into the job and have a look at the squad. Okay, it has been a very busy time here at Bran. Um, we started, I think, probably late pre-season. My mistake, I probably should have started early pre-season, but uh, as a result of which I've had not my ideal friendly preparation. As you can see, I was able to squeeze in a couple of my chosen um, type of friendlies against terrible opposition. A little bit disappointed in the one. But um, some bright spark decided to send us on a training camp in Turkey and we got beaten quite a bit and the team obviously didn't really know the tactic that much and the games were all coming thick and fast which I would not have done certainly not without having two proper squads to be able to rotate between but we didn't have that and unfortunately we didn't quite have everyone there that I wanted there either because I let it auto pick the squad and it left someone quite important behind. But on the flip side of that, we are going to have to get used to not having him because Runar Hover here, as you can see, 26 years old, in the prime of life. He's decided he's going to retire at the end of the season. I've tried to talk him out of it. He's having none of it. And he's a very good centre-back. So we are losing a good centre-back uh, for what I can see is no discernible reason other than the fact he's just decided to retire in his mid-twenties, which is very odd. Um, and every time I see it, it says he's partially retiring from football. So I don't know if he's trying to go into, like, staff side of things or what he's doing, but... <clears throat> It's a bit disconcerting. Anyway, um, we have done some transfers because we had <coughs> quite a small squad when you actually got it down to the ones in the actual first team. But in a f quite frantic um, transfer deadline day, and a lot of these deals were suggested long before transfer deadline day, but most of them actually signed on the dotted line like after 12 on the 1st of April. Uh, now, uh, we have had a few go out. Uh, there were some that went out on loan that I had nothing to do with. Um, Holman Johansson here is a goalkeeper. We've got, we had three goalkeepers in the squad. We've got a good one. We've got a decent youngster coming up who's like 23. And he was just excess baggage. Um, and then Patrick Anderson and Morgan Aimer youngsters who I don't think are going to make it here, so we've got rid of them. Now, talking of youngsters, Jorgen Fjeldskar, 19 years old, we've got him on loan for two years, and then we've got, I think, an option to sign him, or um, I'm not quite sure if it's just an option or if it's, I think actually, no, it's, we can sign him if we get promoted or something, I think, something like that. Uh, which, being as the board are expecting us to get automatically promoted this season, I thought, mm, fine, happy to do it. Uh, Olaf Olby, 27 years old, solid all-round midfielder. I think we're training him as box-to-box. -box. Um, Cornelius Hansen, quite versatile in the sort of like attacking midfield section, can play on either flank. We are playing an inside forward on the left, so he's going to play on the left at the moment and cut inside because uh, he's an excellent dribbler, good acceleration, he's good at that particular role uh, when he plays, I'm not sure if he's starting. Uh, Dominic Pavlek, uh, 
Croatian who came up on. I think he won. He was one of the ones who actually came up in the whole um, deadline day thing because there's a thing in the game that I never experienced in FM22 um, about the whole deadline day thing, and you get sort of low notification of sort of all oh, this person might be looking for a move and all that sort of stuff and it's I'd never done it before never been in a league high enough to actually have it happen but apparently Norwegian second division is high enough for that so um but yeah he is a centre-back I think we're training him as are we training him as a centre-back let me just have a look I'm not training him as anything at the moment it should be centre-back Good job. We look at these things, isn't it? Um, but yeah, he's decent. Now, Robin Rash is a deep line playmaker. He's got the excellent passing and vision, good decisions. He's just all round good for a deep line playmaker. Uh, Sebastian Zettel, who we signed on a free, and he will be, I think, in. Yes, he is in the second string. I wanted some youngsters coming through in positions that we didn't have some talent because we've got some good talent. And Bran have got a good youth system. So we should have constantly people sort of coming through. Um, I think my plan is as well, obviously I'm going to be sort of like doing this um, for a while until I start my proper full sort of like saves for the year. But I might just keep this one going as a personal one in the background. Um, because so far it's been quite, quite fun. Uh, now, Brian Onyango. South African, oh, well, Kenyan's centre-back, signed from a South African side. Uh, bit of a beast in the air, by looks things. Very good at heading, although his jumping reach isn't that great. But, again, good, solid, all-round defender. Um, I think at the moment I've kind of left him out of my lineup. And then this was just a punt, basically. I got a, a message come in saying about, well, you've been linked with this youngster, are you looking at signing him? And I looked at him, and we knew virtually nothing about him. I still haven't really looked. Um, but <clears throat> he's a young, probably probably a fullback. I could you could play in central midfield, but signed him as a as a fullback. He's only sixteen. Uh, his marking's not great, but then I think for wing back, you don't really need the marking so much. Um, and he does lack the physicals, but again, he is only 16, so hopefully they will improve. He's got bags of potential. Um, and, yeah, it was just a punt. And he was free. So, well, we lost. A bit of wages. So, um, <clears throat> now, uh, let's just have a look at this squad. Now, Hover, was I going to put Hover in, or was I going to... Okay, let's put on Yango in. Because I think the fans were looking forward to seeing him. So, right, last adjustment now. What we get is we get nine men on the subs bench and five substitutes, although you have to do them in the three um, things. So, but we are expected to win this division. As you can see, the team's got reasonably familiar with the tactics. Um, I've managed to get my... Um, <coughs> my training schedule across from the last version of the game so hopefully that seems to work reasonably well and if the teams start doing well everyone will be happy and training better and we might well improve these boys. I haven't really looked at our training facilities we've got some quite good coaches now I've, I've done some work in the background with the staff as well <clears throat> uh, don't get a lot of reaction out of the boys at the moment to me um, and I did start off unlike normal, where I tend to start as like sort of Sunday League. I have started as appropriate level for Bram. Um, he suffered a tight calf. We've been playing for five minutes, for heaven's sake. Mm. Oh, it's in. Help Nielsen. Right, well, while it's doing that then... Good job we have got oh well the fans were hoping to see obi's debut i didn't realize it was going to be after six and a half minutes because of an injury but you know we are one up <clears throat> okay i haven't yet tinkered with the um set pieces i am liking the way the match engine or the match animation sort of stuff looks oh it's a penalty 
I don't know who takes our penalties. Oh, oh yes, I do. Bored thinner. Um, but yeah, it, there are certain things about it that just look that bit more realistic this year. Um, and I've, if you've watched um, the video I made on my first impressions of it, you'll know that I've, I've just got a thing for this net ripple. It's just so much better than the old one. It's, it's just those little things, and they, they just mount up, and this game is looking really quite good. And I found one or two other things in the course of like, the game that I've quite liked. Ooh. Now, Jensen Vasberg, who just wasted that perfectly good chance, uh, he's a 17-year-old, and I have had a message from... Oh, hello, Scarless. Was he onside? Surely, was, was he on? Hang on. Is anyone checking that? Apparently not. It's a goal. Um, <clears throat> looks off to me, but there you go. Oh, no. No, he did come from that side of him. Uh, yes, anyway, I had a message from... I think it was my training staff. Um, <clears throat> and... Or someone sent me a message, anyway, saying that they thought that Jensen Vassberg um, could be the next Martin Odegaard. So... Fingers crossed. Oh my word. <clears throat> now, I don't know how good Brian, how, how good, that's how you say it, are, but <clears throat> we are looking fruity. Four nil inside half an hour. I mean, I have got quite an attacking formation because I knew the side was supposed to be very good for this level. We are expected to go up. We've just come down. And I think I have improved, certainly the depth of this side. Oh, good. Oh, he's offside. Um, so, uh, uh, we've actually got an XG of three as well. I mean, uh, yeah, there's a penalty in, in there and someone scored from like a foot out, but... Christensen, who is one of our older statesmen, but is an excellent attacking wing-back. Moberg! That's the thing. This season we are playing with a target forward um, up front. And I've got a shadow striker in behind to make the runs. Um, the box-to-box -box midfielder obviously will try and get in the box. The inside forward will probably come in. Um, so we are quite attacking. And we've got Moberg, who is our starting striker at the moment but he again is well the wrong side of 30 but we do have a 21 year old who is not that far behind him in terms of uh, ability coming through who can play the role but for later seasons if i get to that in like the personal save sort of thing i'm going to be switching it to probably either deep line forward or um a false nine who will then sort of drop deep and the shadow striker will push beyond them so hopefully that will pull people out of position. It's all a brilliant plan up here. It may or may not work on grass. Um, right, well, yeah, how could I not be happy with that uh, that performance? Right, we need to leave Moberg on because we need to give him his chance to get his hat-trick. If he gets his hat-trick, we'll put the youngster on. Um, give him a run out up there. Now, Jensen Vassberg at the moment is having to play. Oh, hello, he's off. <clears throat> Mamadou Dior um, because our first choice in that position although we will be giving Vas Jensen Vasberg a decent amount of playing time but our first choice who is a Chilean lad uh, went down injured in pre-season so oh hello hello the flying header good grief <clears throat> there's an animation I've not already seen before see again it's just those little things that just make it look better this year Oh, Scarnes dancing past people and then putting in a disappointing shot. Well done. Um, of course, I haven't got my old, um, the old sort of skin for the game. More direct passing. Why? I need more direct passing. What sort of philistine are you? Oh yes, of course. Left back is the position we can't put anyone on him because our backup left back is out injured which is why i've got two right backs on the bench uh what we can do though is put i believe cornelius hansen is is he training 
out wide. He's training on the left. Oh, yeah, no, Borsting is now on the right. Did I change what you're training? No, I didn't. Right. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Mid match training adjustment. Bear with me. Uh, he is now going to be as a winger attack on the right. Right, okay. And with that done, we'll put him on for Scarnes, who is on a booking. We don't really want to take him. Take the risk of losing him, especially in a game with 5 0 up in. Um, right, I might as well make a double substitution at the moment and let's give Rash a bit of time in deep line playmaker. And then in a few minutes' time, we will get the youngster on up front, I think, because Moberg has had his chance to get his hat trick. And if he's not taking it, then, well, you know, I might get it here. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Oh, Christensen beaten to it. Oh, that was that was a decent pass. Oh, spread himself and blocked the shot. Oh, and Krona, I think actually got his foot in. According to the text at the bottom of the screen. Well. I think this has been a decent old start. I think we'll basically we'll stick it to, to one game today, otherwise it's going to be too long an episode. Uh, oh, actually, let me just let me just pause. Um, right, let's bring Hegabo on. Um, and let's give Feldscar an outing as well. Why not? Okay. Oh, hello. He tried one. Oh! Jensen Vassberg, the youngster. Makes it six. Oh, goalkeeper's got to be disappointed with that. Spread himself but couldn't stop the follow up. Yes, please. I say it was his second goal of the season. This is our first competitive game. Odd. Well, that's the sort of XG graph you want, isn't it? 6 0, 5 XG. Oh my word. I don't know if I've ever had a team create 5 XG. Uh, nice ever work, everyone. That was good. It's a wonderfully understated way of putting that, isn't it? So. Um, Oh, hello, look at that. I oh, unlocked some achievements there. First victory. Thumping. Oh, hello. Shots for days. Good grief. Banged out four achievements. It's amazing. And we are top of the league already. Miles. Now, we will just go and have a look and see how good Brian is supposed to be. Or Brino, or however you, I don't know how you say it. Clearly, as you can tell. Uh, season preview. They are not a good side. So let's not go, get too carried away. I mean, you can see our odds there. And it seems to be very odd. There's there's no middle ground. I've seen some odds that sort of like one to, I don't know, maybe four or five or something. But it then seems to shoot all the way to like one to 91. And it just goes right off the chart. It's weird. There's no... A gradation there but that was a very good start now we are in the first round of the Norwegian Cup so we might just come back for that and actually the game after that is Stabek who I think on that last screen we just saw were second favorites so yes Norwegian Cup and Stabek then next time so <sighs> Thank you for um, joining me for our kind of our Norwegian reboot, <laughs> I suppose, having finished the last one in Norway and then starting this one. I mean, this may be, if I keep doing this year on year, this might be a little sort of beta save tradition. Maybe I just go to Bran. Um, I'm sure there's at least one person in the world who'd be quite happy if I do. So, um, but yeah, anyway, 
Uh, thank you for joining me back in Norway um, for a look at the beta save. And um, like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.